Hi, I'm Carol Barrett, and today we'll be talking about the ethics of office administration. I've had several decades of experience as a practicing planner, both in the public and private sector. My passion has always been ethics. Ethics focused on how it's practiced in the office and a day-to-day -day environment. I helped AICP write its code of ethics. I've been on the ethics committee. I've published a book. But what I really care about is how we work together as a profession to raise the ethical bar. Let's do that today. In all of my teaching and writing about ethics, almost all of the time, up until fairly recently, I've always focused on what is the content of our practice? How do we analyze planning issues? What are effective techniques for making sure that the work that we do reflects the diversity of everyone who engages in planning. And then all of a sudden, it occurred to me that the way we work with one another in a planning office also has an ethical dimension. It's involved in how we are supervised or supervise others. And it's just something we mostly don't think about in the context of the AICP Code of Ethics. So we're going to have what I referred to as a conversation. I am not here to judge anyone's behavior. And believe me, after all the decades in planning, there's nothing you could say that should, would really shock me about what goes on in a planning office. But it is an opportunity for us to together explore some of these questions. In chapter two, we'll begin by reviewing the basic building blocks of an ethical framework for planners. <music>